Be careful. <laughs> Don't drop it, Sean. Oh, no. Okay. Nice and steady. Looks like everything is set up for today. But uh, what's this? Looks like some kind of liquid. Is it juice? Oh, I love juice. No, but it's too thick. Oh, it's probably olive oil. But what does olive oil got to do with our lesson today? Hmm, maybe I should ask the teacher. Um, Mr. Hanin? Ah, yes, yes, Mr. Hanin, Mr. Hanin! Didit TV, KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Menengah Rendah or Lower Form on Didit TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. And our lesson for today is obviously English. But what are we learning today? Hmm, but more importantly, who is our teacher for today? For that, let's have a look at his profile. Of course, today we have Mr. Hanin. Hi, how are you feeling today? Uh, hi, Sean. I'm very good today. I'm, I'm set, excited. Yes, oh, for but our before lesson. we continue, could you kindly introduce yourself to our audience today? Hi, uh, my name is Mr. Muhammad Hanin bin Abu Hanif. I am from SMK Unku Aziz. All right, thank you so much for that. And I believe it's not just the two of us today, we have a couple of, of our pupils that are online right now, right? Yes. All right, let's see who they are. Hi, everyone. Ah, yes, that's right. We actually have four pupils with us. Could you kindly introduce them to our uh, audience who are watching at home right now? Yes, okay. So the first one, we have Nabiha. Hi, Nabiha. All right. Uh, the next uh, pupils would be Aisha. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Aisha. The third person would be Anis. Hi, Anis. Hi. And the last person would be Haikal. Hello, Haikal. All right. So we already have our pupils who are online right now. Are you guys ready for today? Give me a thumbs up if you are. That's right. But I actually have a question. Yes. Earlier I saw this olive oil, right? What has that got to do with our lesson today? So thank you, Sean. So, so shall we begin our lesson? Yes. Okay. So the title for our discussion today is going to be Food, Food, Food and All for Life. We are going to focus on reading, Sean. Okay. Okay. So these are the learning standard. And the main skill is reading mm -hmm. and the complementary skill would be writing. The learning objective at the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to recognize with support typical features at word, sentence and text level of range genre by matching the words and their meanings and also the second one would be spell written work with moderate accuracy by using the words given. Ah, mm. all right. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. So we are going to use our uh, Form 3 textbook, which is over here. Okay. I have it here. So uh, our pupils at home mm -hmm. can always refer their textbook at home. Uh, close up. This is the pupils book and we are going to focus on page 18 and also page 19, Sean. All okay. right. So, so for those of you who are at home, you can already open up your textbooks, page 18 and 19, and prepare yes. yourselves for our lesson. Over yes. to you. So we are going to start off with our first uh, activity, which is to find the words in uh, number one to number five in the text and match them to their definition. So those are the words. The first one is evidence. Mm -hmm. The second one would be process. The third word would be liquid. The fourth one would be civilization. And the fifth one would be disease. Okay, so we are going to need our pupils' help to mm -hmm. actually uh, find the meaning. So I'm going to reveal the text to everybody okay. uh, at home and also uh, our pupils at uh, home as well. They are ready, they have their books with them. Okay, so they can search the words here. So this uh, is the text. Mm -hmm. 
the text is quite long, but it's suitable for their age. Okay. Okay. So because we are not going to read it yet, yep. uh, we are just going to search for the words that we already mentioned earlier, okay. the five words. Okay. If you can see uh, at the slides, uh, the first one, we can identify that because in the text, they already underlined the word, ah. which is going to be very helpful for them to find the words. Okay. In this uh, slide, we have the first one, evidence. Okay. We go to the next one. Okay, uh, Sean, can you see uh, where is uh, the word underline? Okay, I see in the first paragraph in, uh, in this text, yeah, the first yes. paragraph, uh, line number one, so process. Process, and, and uh, I think the other one would be liquid. liquid. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, now we go on to the next one. Okay, we can already see that. Mm -hmm. uh, after the word ancient, uh, on top of that, mm -hmm. civilization, yep. which is the underline, and also there's one more down there, yeah? Diseases. Yes. Okay. And then maybe do we have uh, for our last? No, we don't have for our last uh, text yes. over here. Yeah. But overall, uh, just now, mm -hmm. there are five words. That's right. Uh, so we already identified it in the text. Okay. Now, so this is what our uh, pupils at home need to do find the words one to five in the text we already done that yep. then now we are going to match them to their definition the definition okay. mm -hmm. is already being prepared here this is whatever uh, what is exactly inside uh, our textbook uh, okay. so the answer is already prepared for them it's just that they need to match ah. which is to the correct answer so now we are going to let our friends mm -hmm. yeah uh, at home to uh, search for the meaning for a while. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. So, oh, I see. remember, so from, this, are, yeah. from the list of five words here, we are already have the definitions, we just have to match it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, because they have already glanced through it, mm -hmm. I think maybe uh, our pupils are already ready or not. Uh, just to make sure we read, uh, pupils, Adam, are you ready online? If you're ready, answer? give us a thumbs up. All right, looks okay. like everyone is ready. So, because uh, they are ready, mm -hmm. so maybe, Sean, could you like to start first matching? Sure, <laughs> I can give it a go. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, word number one, which is evidence. Evidence. So, I'll have to match it with, I think it is, I think it's C, reasons for believing that something is or isn't true. Okay, so number one, the answer is C, a reason for believing that something is or isn't true. That is correct. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now we are going to let our friends mm -hmm. to share the answer with us. Okay. okay. Yeah. So why don't we let uh, Aisha to try number two? Number two, process B, a series of things that you do to make something. Okay. Two. B, process, a series of things that you do to make something. Yes. Congratulations, Aisha. Yeah, well Good done. Job. Okay. Now, uh, let's go to uh, the third word. Uh, we would want Anis. Anis? Three, liquid. Yes. Something like water that you can pour easily. Okay. Uh, so, A, something like water that you can easily okay that is good job to you okay right. let's well go to, to you. the fourth one civilization uh, why don't we have Nabiha number four civilization E a large group of people with its own culture okay uh, what is the answer again Nabiha E Okay, uh, civilization, a large group of people with its own culture, and last one, disease. Uh, it will be Haika, right? The answer is D, an uh, illness, something that makes you very sick. Okay, disease and illness, something that makes you very sick. Okay, well done. Good job, everybody. 
Okay, Sean, I think they have already got all the answer, right? So why don't we reward them? Yes. Because this is mm -hmm. part of our PBD, which Correct. is Pentaxila and Bridaja. They mm -hmm. have done well. Let's give them a pack of our Dread Raya. So each of them receive one each? Yes. All yes. right. So let me just so open up the boxes here so real yes, quick. Them. As you can see, there's already names on these boxes. And each of them will receive... Let me just see whether all the names are displayed. Yes, they are. Oh, whoops, my mistake. <laughs> a bit too excited, Mr. Hadi. Ah, it's okay. Uh, maybe I, I should reward you later. Because yes. you are excited today. I see an extra one. So here we go. <laughs> one for each of you. Congratulations for doing it really, really well. Well done. And because everyone done a fantastic job, we're going to take a short break. And back to you for Lower, uh, lower Secondary on the TV KPM. TV KPM. You are now watching Menengah Rendah or Lower Form on Direct TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and also we have Mr. Hanin. All right, Mr. Hanin, over to you. Okay, thank you, Sean. So uh, we have Olive All on uh, Sean's yeah, table over there. This one right? here. Uh, so just to make a little bit of connection of what we are going to learn today, it, because it's going to focus on. Uh, olive oil later okay. on okay all right thank you very much so now we are focusing on uh, the reading strategies that we need to do when we are being exposed with a text so that we have uh, a good strategy when attempting to answer uh, any question for reading okay so because uh, for this part you are going to be given options mm -hmm. so when uh, we want to uh, have like a very good reading strategies uh, a few steps need to be taken. Okay. So first, uh, read all the text to find out the topic and to get the general meaning. Mm -hmm. So of course, um, we need to read uh, the text first initially. Maybe you uh, need to uh, read a few times just to make sure that you have a very good understanding, right? And then for the second one, then go back and read each sentence with a gap carefully because uh, for our activity, you need to fill in the gap. Make sure you read the complete sentence just to make sure that you uh, make sense of the gap that you want to fill in with the words given to you. And also think about the type of word that could fit in each gap because in English there are so many um, types of words. That's some right. are nouns, some are verbs. So you need to make sure that whatever word must be suitable with the text. Yes. Okay, the next one would be uh, read the options because there are already options over there. Mm -hmm. Then read the sentence again with each option in the gap, uh, which word fits the best. So you need to find uh, which of the word fits the best. Sometimes you might think that it is correct, mm -hmm. but you need to make sure it is the best for that particular gap. Okay, and the last one will be, be careful and write the correct option on the exam paper and then go back and check again. Okay, so this is always a very good reminder to our kids at home, yeah, the pupils at home. Once you already, uh, what, circle your answer, something mm -hmm. like that, make sure that you already circle on the correct answers yes. or maybe you, whatever that you need to write or do to that particular uh, answer, make sure you check again and uh, it shows that you already uh, did that, okay? now. So, so this is the tag, uh, okay, and all for life, okay, because the tag is quite long as well, yeah. So just now I already mentioned that you need to go through it quite thoroughly, okay, yeah, when we're reading, yeah. So, so here, yeah. So we are going to let our um, pupils to read, mm -hmm. yeah. We are going to give them some time because when reading, you need to be uh, allowed to be given the time to actually yes. comprehend 
uh, the text, uh, okay? And then after that, what they are going to do is this. Ah. Uh, okay, Sean, this is something that they need to do. Read the text and choose the correct word for each space. For each question, mark the correct letter, A, B, C, or D. Okay, mm -hmm. so why don't we give them some time sure. to actually uh, read the text and also find out the answer. Okay, right. pupils, are you ready? Pupils? Okay, good. See, ah, right. So ready. they already give them some, uh, yeah, some, time. some time. Okay. So uh, just a reminder, mm -hmm. uh, because this is part of our PBD. Yes. Uh, so we need to ensure that uh, our pupils at home, they mm -hmm. already use the strategy mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that they apply the reading strategy so that we know for sure later on when they uh, get a different type, they could be able to apply the strategy. Ah. Uh, yeah. All right. Apply the strategies. Yes. Okay. And for those so, of you watching at home as well, you can also give it a try. If I'm not mistaken, like Mr. Hanin mentioned earlier, it's page 18 and 19 yes. right, of the textbook. Mm. So you can give it a try and we can compare answers after this. Okay. So I think that will be enough for us to actually let, give them a chance to uh, find the answer. All right. Why don't we ask a few of them because we have like 10 uh, options that they need to choose from. Oh, right? yes. Okay. Yeah. That's quite a question. Lot. So we start with the discussion. Okay. So why don't we start with uh, Haikal? Okay, Haikal, can you read uh, from the start until you meet uh, the question one? Maria Alcala of Madrid said for many Mediterranean people when she said that a meme without olive oil is boring. So, the answer number one is no one. No one knows when the Mediterranean first fell in love with olives because it was before people wrote it and kept Ruka. Very good. Okay, thank you very much for that reading. So, now let's check the answer, John. All right. Okay, no one. Correct. Congratulations. Well done. Hi, Carl. Well done. And uh, what, does he get something for his correct answer? Yeah, of course. Uh, so he, re he received one. Where are you? Where is Hi, right. uh, so For Hi, Carl, right? Yeah. Hi, Carl is over here. Congratulations Richard to you. Hi, Carl. So now we will uh, let uh, the next friends yeah, to share the answer, which is Nabiha. However, there is some evidence that people began growing olive trees around the Mediterranean Sea approximately 6,000 years ago. The, Med the, Mediterranean, the Mediterranean countries still, uh, still produce 99% of the world's olive oil, with Spain being the world's biggest producer. Okay, so now let's check the answer. The mm -hmm. answer will be... Produce, which is D. Congratulations. Congratulations. And shall we give her wine? One uh, that goes into your box. Okay. Well done. Next is for question number three and also number four. Okay. Shall we go on? Who haven't? Uh, Anis? From ancient times. Until today, the basic process of producing the oil is the same. First, farmers crush the olives, then they take the liquid and separate the oil from the water. Okay, so the answer is until. Congratulations, Anis. So, one for Anis, Sean. That's uh, right, going to her box. box. There for we go. Her. Okay, and let's tr uh, try Aisha. Many alive growers keep their ancient traditions and still harvest the olives by hand. The answer number four is A. The answer number four is A. Let's check the answer. Yes, and uh -huh. so now well one done. already get one each, yeah? Yes, uh -huh, correct. For all of them. So, and then we continue. We harvest in the traditional way, says Don Celso. An olive farmer from Tuscany, Italy. It is less expensive to do it with a machine, but it's more a social thing. 20 people come to help with the harvest, and we pay them in all. So that is very interesting, interesting right, John? Paying yes. people with all. So now let's go on to the next one, which is uh, question 5, 6, and 7. 
So now for five, we go back to um, maybe Hai Gao. Okay, sure. Ancient civilization used olive oil as money and medicine. Okay. The answer number five is A. Okay, ancient civilization used all A as money and medicine. Okay. Congratulations, Haika. So All Haika right. also deserve another wine. Another wine. Okay, they Going even here. use it during war. Mm -hmm. They would heat it up and drop it down on the enemy. Okay, now uh, I already read until there. So uh, let's uh, have uh, Nabiha. Nabiha, continue. Number six. Number six is B. These days. It is still used in religious ceremonies as it was in ancient times. Okay, thank you, Nabiha, for that. Okay, these days. It is still used in religious ceremony as it was in ancient time. It also uh, great for making fish and cheese uh, stay fresh. There are even olive oil lamps and olive oil soap. So we learn a lot now from this culture that is quite foreign to us. Yeah. So I think that is a very good reading, mm -hmm. exposing us to other people's culture as well by reading. That's okay, right. Okay, now. And will she get a reward for her correct answer? Yes, of course. Thank you, Nabiha. Well done to you, Nabiha. Okay, Over now here. we go to uh, Anis. One important study showed the Mediterranean People have the healthiest hearts in Western world. Wow, okay, let's check the answer first. Okay, healthiest. One important study showed that Mediterranean people have the healthiest heart in the Western world. So that must be a very good study about olive oil. So those people in the Mediterranean, they have one of the healthiest heart in the Western world. Maybe we need to include uh, olive oil more in our uh, diet, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is partly to do with frequently using olive oil. Other studies have shown that using olive oil can help to protect people from some type of diseases. The world is beginning to understand the advantages of using olive oil and it isn't an unusual thing to see on dinner tables outside the Mediterranean region anymore. So now people are, are acknowledging mm -hmm. that there are some benefits which our uh, olive oil. Okay? That's right. And for Anis, does she get a reward as well for her correct answer? Yeah, of course, Anis. Thank you, Sean. Over to you. This is for you, Anis. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Congratulations. So now we have 8, 9, 10, mm -hmm. right? So maybe we have Haikal to do number 8. The olive oil producing countries now sell large amounts of olive oil to countries in Europe, Asia, Africa, and North and South America. Okay, let's check the answer. Thank you, Haikal. Maybe after this is Sasha. Eh? Okay, the olive oil producing countries now sell large amounts of olive oil to countries in Europe, Asia, Africa, and North and South America. Ah, okay, that is good. So now, Congratulations, Haikal. Congratulations. One for you. Uh, okay. Now we go on with Aisha. Aisha? Okay. Olive oil improves the lives of people everywhere when it is part of a well-balanced diet. The answer is C. The answer is? C. C. Diet. Diet. Okay. So olive oil improves the life of people everywhere when it is part of a well-balanced diet. So this olive oil has become uh, a very good source of like improving their uh, health quality, right? So they become part of their diet. And now let's go on to the last one. Uh, okay, Sean, maybe you would like to choose the last one. The last one. Okay. Um, ancient people knew, oh sorry, luckily the Mediterranean, oh what, before that, Mr. Hanin, I have to give her a reward, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. here we go. There we go. And you uh, want me to answer the final one? No, no, no. I mean, like, you can choose one person. Oh, I choose uh, one person. Oh, okay. You, okay. Because I wouldn't know the answer to that. <laughs> let's have, um, let's see who hasn't answered just yet. Uh, uh, maybe we can get... More? Uh, who wants to, you, who Nabila? you want? Nabila? Who? Nabiha. Okay, Nabiha. Oh, Nabiha. Okay, Sorry. Nabiha. Nabiha. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Nabiha, the final one. People knew about its benefits and modern science has confirmed them. Luckily, the Mediterranean people are happy to share the secret with the world. 
The answer is Nabiha? The answer is number uh, is C. C, share. So let's check the answer. Share, C. Yes. yes. Congratulations, you have done uh, a good job. Yes, congratulations to you. One, um, what we call, do it right for you. All right. Okay. All right, carry on. So these are the answers mm -hmm. that uh, they already produced. Yep. So please remember, when you are given a template for you to uh, fill up the answer, mm -hmm. just like here, over here, you need to circle your answer. So make sure you already circle. And please remember also, one of the reading strategies is for you to actually check your answer mm -hmm. again, whether you already circle it correctly or maybe you have already blackened uh, the answer. And um, uh, yeah, Sean, if you sometimes uh, when you notice in the answer, you make a mistake. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you erase it clearly. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that there will be no traces of the previous answer. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes also when, uh, yeah, this is what the students, uh, the pupils, sometimes they, uh, maybe they forget to actually erase it like clearly. So when you give two options, so the answer will be wrong. I see. So make sure you only give one, only one answer, answer. The yeah. one that you really confirm with uh, at the final. Okay, and speaking about answers, yeah, just in case if anyone who's watching missed out, how do we actually get these answers? Is there a certain strategy to ensure that the answers that we choose is correct or how do we go about and getting the correct answer? Okay, thank you very much, Sean. So make sure that you already, uh, as a part of the reading strategy mm -hmm. earlier, yeah, make sure you can actually replace mm -hmm. one of these words, the word, uh, for, for example, for let's go to uh, 10, right? Yep. Sometimes you can replace the option that you have here, mm -hmm. like give, offer, share, show. Mm -hmm. This is also for the weak student. Yep. They can do this. They replace one word, give, they put it inside uh, the sentence over here, okay. and then they try to figure out mm -hmm. does this word make sense when putting ah, the answer there? All right. Ah, okay. So, uh, one good uh, question, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, like this is uh, they are able, the students are able to actually use the words yeah, to help them to choose the best answers. All right, mm -hmm. so that's how you can answer correctly and also ensure that your answers are correct. And right now we're going to take a short break and back to you for lower form on Didet TV KPM. <laughs> TV KPM and we are back for lower form on Didet TV KPM together with Mr. Hanin for English. Now over to you. Thank you, Sean. So now what we are going to do is for our next activity is writing practice. So uh, in order for us to improve our English as well, we need to include a little bit of writing exercise just to make sure that our uh, pupils uh, at home uh, know that they can uh, improve a little bit on their skills. So now we are focusing on writing. All Just right. now, uh, we already uh, learned a lot. Uh, we want to know whether our uh, pupils can apply what they learn. But okay. I'm going to explain a little bit more. Okay. Now, the element to focus for uh, our lesson is we are going to see uh, a few uh, type of uh, sentences that uh, an English person should know. Yeah, when we are learning uh, the subjects, we have uh, simple, uh, compound, and also complex sentences. And also for uh, our lesson, we are going to uh, look at present tense. Okay, we are going to look at present tense. Okay, and our focus for the lesson is we are going to look at present, simple, and also present continuous okay 
So what we have in our present simple, okay. Uh, so pupils at home, please uh, look at the slides. Yeah. So what is for I S P Y? I just make a short form. I think uh, just to make it clear mm -hmm. to everybody uh, who's uh, watching and also learning our friends uh, in the online. Uh, I is for I. Okay. okay. S is for singular. P is for plural, and Y is for you. So that's why ah. I make the short form. If you look like downwards, it's become I spy. I see. Ah, okay, okay. I spy. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. So that this is one of the techniques that I use for my students. Lah. So uh, for the present simple, so I the, with am, as singular with is, plural with are, you with are. And if is about the action verb over here. Mm -hmm. For example, like uh, the example there, eat. So I eat, singular. For example, like we can put name. Yeah. Like my name, Hanin, eats. I see. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. However, there's something special when uh, present simple meet with singular. Okay. Okay. So they faces a little bit of changes, Sean. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you notice, for eat, we need to add. S. Okay, uh -huh. for watches, watch. Sorry, watch. You need to add es, and for carry, like that example, we need to add is. For plural, it remains the same, and also for you, it remains the same. Uh, that is for present simple. On to the next one. Uh, is is all about present continuous. Mm -hmm. uh, present present continuous. You need to still use I, am. Singular with is, plural with are, and you with are. But the changes, if you can see over there, we need to do a little bit of addition to the verb. Okay. Which is walk and become ing form, mm -hmm. walking. So now we have over here uh, an example to Sean. Ah, on this board here. Uh, on this board. So I already written mm -hmm. uh, uh, a few words over there. Okay. So Sean, can, could you help me? Uh, to write your answer, what is going to happen to the verb? Mm -hmm. It is if it is see, uh, it is in the singular form. Singular, singular form. form. Okay. okay. All right. So for singular form for uh, present simple, right? Yes. So here I have work. So it'll be works. I'll just add an S there. So for yes. example, Sean works. Yeah. Right. So punch. This will be not just an S, but it'll actually be an E S. Okay, punches. Mm, punches. But cry, it'll have ah. to be a totally, uh, well, not totally new word, but it'll have to be C R I E S. Okay, works, punches, and cries. Good job, Sean. Yes, you're getting it you're correct. Done. Yes, all, all right. correct. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to ask uh, our pupils. Mm -hmm to actually choose the words that they like. Okay. They are going to write sentences, mm -hmm. and later on, uh, the, the words that they don't choose, I'm going to give it to you. Ah, okay, so that's a task for me as uh, well. Okay, so sure. there will be tasks uh, to our uh, host over here. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to ask our uh, students to actually, sorry, our pupils uh, on, in, in the online, uh, mm -hmm. okay, to choose their Words. Okay, sure. So, so I'm going to ask who's first. Maybe um, Nabiha. What is the word that you would like to choose, Nabiha? I would like to choose civilization. Civilization. The one in so, purple. So, okay. Over there. The this one. This yes, one. That's okay. The one. So this is for Nabiha. So I'm going to pull it out from the list. <laughs> okay. So civilization is out. Now let's go to Aisha. I would like to choose thesis. Disease. Disease. The one okay. in yellow. In the yellow. Thank you, Sean. So disease is out. So what's left for Sean later on? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> now we have three words left over here. Okay, now let's ask Haika. I would like to choose process. 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 So process is here. out. So two more left. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes, liquid and evidence. Evidence. So, let's have the final one. Uh, 
Anis. I would like to choose liquid. So liquid. Ah. So liquid. So I'm Sean. left with evidence. So this is mine. Can okay. I get it from you? All right. So this is my word. <laughs> so now we'll give uh, the people some time to construct yes, their sentence. To is construct it? their sentence. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I will let Sean to try to uh, write a sentence on the board. Okay. Okay. So trying to recall the, the uh, meaning from evidence. For those of you watching at home as well, maybe you can give it a try. We can compare our answers, see whether we get the same sentence or uh, a different one. But as long as we are able to somehow uh, show the meaning of the word, yes. correct? Uh, okay, I'm just going to erase what's on the board right now. Okay, hold on. I think I just need to erase two words here. Just to make some space I for think the answers. Okay. Nothing better than a clean yeah. slate So over here. people uh, in the online, please be prepared. Uh, later on, after we see uh, our host over here uh, write the sentence, we are going to let... Uh, to have like volunteers yeah, to actually share their answers. Uh, we are going to let uh, uh, volunteers first, okay? So my sentence uh, will be like this. The evidence shows that she is not guilty. Okay, okay. with a full stop. Okay. All right. So hopefully this is correct because I think uh, Mr. Hanin will also uh, <laughs> judge and see whether my sentence is right. And also for those of you trying at home, you can also give it a try. And maybe we can compare our answers based on what is given by our pupils who are online. So okay. I think let's check and see whether they are ready. Okay, let's check. Maybe we have volunteer first. Okay, Sean? I think we, we are going to see yours. Mine first. Okay, so I'm the volunteer. Later, later, later. Oh, later. Okay, later. sure. Okay, sure. Okay. No worries. Why, why don't we let our uh, yes. pupils first? Huh? Okay. Uh, can we have any volunteers first? Uh, any volunteers would like to raise their hand? You are going to show your answers near to the camera so that yeah. uh, we are, able, uh, we, to read we it, are yeah? able to actually see the answers, right? Who would like to try first? Volunteers. Okay, I saw Aisha, uh, maybe I saw her mouth open and maybe <laughs> she, she it said but she was on mute, right? So maybe we can ask Aisha. <laughs> okay. Okay, Can Aisha. You know, and exercise? Okay, you can regular, read it. Regular exercise can help someone to reduce the risk of heart disease. Uh, and your word, Aisha, is? Disease. Disease. So regular exercise can help someone to reduce the risk of heart disease. So something to do with our health. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Aisha. Well done. So it's a good job. So uh, this is a part of the present. It's simple. Ah, ah all right. Okay. Now we go on. Who would like to try next? Me. Ah, okay. Anis. Okay. Anis, okay, can you show uh, the answers? Liquid calories are calories found in things we drink. Okay, let's uh, read it again. Liquid calories are calories found in things we drink. Wow, okay, that is that's not something new. It's just something that we need to realize that mm -hmm. whatever that we consume, for yep. example, uh, like milk, they mm -hmm. also have calories, calories in the form of liquid yeah. so, so is her answer correct yes uh she got it correct well okay. done anis uh, so don't worry about the reward we are mm -hmm. going to give them rewards later Ooh, okay uh -huh. yes okay now uh how about who's next maybe Me. I could okay and <laughs> Nabiha, she seems like very excited to share her yes. answer with everybody He is studying the ancient Mesopotamian civilization. Oh, okay. So he is studying the ancient Mesopotamian civilization. Okay, so this is something that they learned uh, a little bit maybe in the history. Maybe Nabiha also have reading uh, about history. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Congratulations. Good well job. done, Nabiha. Uh -huh. And also, uh, who's the last one? Uh, the Haika. the only man standing. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Haika. Okay, Haika. Would you be able to share your answer, please? 
The process of making books is very complex. The process of making book is very complex. What is the word again? Haika? What is the word that you choose? Process. Process. Okay. Congratulations. You also have done well. Yay. Good job. Well done. And then we are going to see again our uh, final answer. Student. Yeah, the, the final student. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So shall I read it out? Yes. The evidence, this is the word that I was given. The evidence shows that she is not guilty. Okay. So is that, that correct? Is, yes, that is correct. Okay. Yes. Uh, the verb that I use is show. Shows. So and then, is, why, uh, why do you put shows uh, as S? Uh, because it's singular? Yes, because evidence can be written in singular, uh, should, should be uh, written like that. Yeah, okay. evidence. Okay. So that is very good. So now, so uh, pupils. The, yep, will the pupils get the yes. reward? Yeah, so I'm going to give them the rewards because okay. I'm here, so okay. it's easy for me to do it. Yep. So I'll give one each, okay? Congratulations Yay. to all of you. Well done. Nice. Don't forget to share. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe they don't want to share with anybody <laughs> because this is theirs, okay? So just to uh, uh, highlight again, mm -hmm. yeah? whenever that we want to write, we need to uh, first determine uh, what kind of tenses that we are using. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you use the correct tenses for the correct moment. And mm -hmm. sometimes maybe you need to uh, use past tense. But mm -hmm. for uh, this lesson, we are focusing only on present simple and also present continuous with the forms given and uh, the one that we learned uh, just now. That's right. And looking from this, since this is a writing activity, means they are able to apply what they have learned yeah. uh, in terms of reading, right? Yes. So well done to everyone. So, and right now, mm -hmm. that's right, we're going to take a short break. And back to you for lower form on Didit TV KPF. TV KPM. Ooh, and you are now watching Lower Form on Didi TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and also Mr. Hanin. All right, Mr. Hanin, over to you. Okay. So, how to actually improve your reading skill? Yeah, this is one of the skill uh, that we need to actually master in learning uh, the language. Uh, besides uh, reading skill, we have. Uh, writing, we have uh, speaking, and also we have uh, listening. So uh, with this new um, syllabus, we mm -hmm. need to be able to uh, conquer all the four uh, skills in learning this language. So today we are just focusing on reading. Uh, yeah. So please uh, take notes on this, okay? So reading, there are things that we need to pay attention to. Uh, I already like divided it into two parts. First is about the text. Yeah, and the second one is about the questions. So, for the text, there might be difficult words. Yeah, there might be difficult words. So we need to be ready because um, uh, some students they are not exposed mm -hmm. uh, with a lot of vocabulary. Yeah. So a vocabulary uh, enrichment activity would be necessary for them to actually understand uh, the meaning behind all the text. They they need to read later on. Yeah, so that's why. Uh, the second one would be increase your own vocabulary. Uh, how you can increase your own vocabulary, Sean? Uh, first, you need to read a lot. Mm -hmm. read, read cannot be forceful. Yeah. So uh, sometimes even at school uh, level, we, sometimes we need to force sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in order for them to get the exposure that, oh, this, these are new words that I need to know, and also understand the meaning, and uh, also later on try to apply when they are writing, yeah. Okay, uh, and also 
uh, put the option inside the gap to help understand the meaning. This is one of the strategies that we can apply when we face with these uh, gap activity uh, exercises. Yeah, uh, as um, one of the technique that we can do is actually to put the option inside the gap, mm -hmm. so uh, you would be able to comprehend uh, whether the words are suitable in that uh, gap or not. Okay. okay? Now, for the questions, uh, understand the instruction. So that is very, very important. Uh, not for me, mm -hmm. because the one who is going to answer is the uh, uh, pupils, right? Yeah. So the pupils sometimes uh, need to know whether they need to circle, blacken, all are different instruction, or maybe underline. Mm -hmm. So these are all different instruction. So w once the question asks you to underline, you need to underline. Yeah. Don't do other stuff with the question, <laughs> which is not necessary yeah. at all. Okay. And then we also need to be clear on what to do, because understanding the instruction is very important. That's why after that we have like uh, a clear message on the things that we are supposed to do when we are dealing with. Uh, the reading text and right. then read the option given please read all the option given okay so there are just now there are four options so uh, one of the way is for you to actually find the best answer uh, what not is what you think is like suitable for you mm -hmm. but it's suitable for the text, the text. Okay. okay so I think this is one of uh, the thing that uh, people need to do when they are uh, doing the reading strategies. Okay. All right. Now, we are going to look at what have you learned today. We are going to ask uh, our pupils mm -hmm. yeah, in the online on what have they got from the lesson. All right. Okay. So who can we choose for this? Or is there Maybe we start with the volunteer first, Sean. Okay, sure. Any volunteer who would like to actually uh, say first, okay, start first. Hey, raise your hand. Anyone who, who would like to uh, start first? Uh, Haikal looks very, shy, very yeah. interested. Maybe Haikal can uh, share yeah. what you have learned today. Okay, thank you, Haikal. Let's. Hey. Today, I learned about how I was introduced to the Mediterranean people. All right. Okay. That's Good a job. Quite interesting. Yeah. yeah from very interesting. Hi, Carl. What this is because uh, what have you learned? It based on their personal experience. That's it's right. not. It's from uh, our view. It's mm -hmm. from their view. Okay, Hi, Carl. Good job. That is something that he learned from the lesson today. Yeah. And then let's go on to maybe one more. Anyone maybe would one like more. to uh, share their opinion on what How they have learned Nabiha? today? How about Let's. Uh, let's let Nabiha to speak. Today I learned where olive oils are originally or origi <laughs> originally um, originated. Ah, okay. So they learned about olive. Mm -hmm. So Nabiha learned about olive a lot today. Yes, that's <laughs> right. And how about you, Mr. Hanin? Could you kindly share with us uh, what, uh, what we have learned in general for today itself? So. First, we learned about reading strategies. Mm -hmm. So our uh, pupils have done well. Yeah. They follow the strategy that they need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they follow the advice. So they have done well. Yeah, uh, as you can see, they receive a lot of uh, rewards over there. Yes. Uh, so they have done well for our lesson. All right. Well done to all of the pupils who are online right now. And in any case, for those of them who are actually online or even watching at home, if they would like to get extra exercises or to enhance their understanding, from where can they get those exercises? Uh, of course, they have special ideas. They can see uh, Sumberku mm -hmm. uh, in order for them to uh, access the activity that uh, are a lot there. That's right. Mm. All right. Thank you very much once again, Mr. Hanin, for our lesson for today and also to our students, oh sorry, pupils who are online right now. And I'm told that they actually have a special, uh, so to say, performance or poem recital for our ending of our today's lesson. Is that correct? Yes. And for those of you watching, please do tune in to Didate Team for more uh, programs and also for more lessons like this. And we'll see you in the next one. But for that, I'll now hand over the floor to all pupils who are online for that poem recital. Over to you. My love for food. My relation with you is not always love, 
I do hate you sometimes, but I cannot live without you. If I am in a good mood, eating you will make me happy. If I am sad and sorrow, you will be there to comfort me. If I win the celebration I receive, you will be there to keep me company and share the joy not just with me, but with the whole family. So truly, thanks for being there for me through my up and down. I don't care what people say, but you played a huge part in me. Thank you.